morning guys and welcome to Florida Day Six. <laughs> cold today like full-on cold it's only 12 degrees it's mad because the other day at Hollywood Studios it was really hot and humid but today it's freezing cold also it's the one day I've actually rem uh, remembered to bring my sunglasses anyway we're gonna catch the shuttle bus and today's a special day because we're going to head to Epcot all day today to see Victoria from Disney in detail for her birthday I got her a little magic band plus which I hope she really likes uh, hopefully she hasn't bought it already so we're gonna go and meet up with Victoria we've also managed to get a Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group but not till 4 p.m. it's crazy because we get it at like a couple of seconds after 7 a.m on the morning and our boarding group's like not till 4 p.m so oh well here's our bus so let's head to Epcot shall we met up with the birthday girl Victoria yay and we're just all having a nice house Victoria actually mentioned to try this cheese danish it's called I got the pumpkin cream cold brew which I've literally been drinking the whole holiday Victoria got a normal coffee did you get and I got a vanilla latte vanilla latte oh yeah cheese danish so this is a cheese danish and you're right it's not too sweet and it's like I don't know it's sweet but a little savory and then we got an egg sandwich to share our guardians boarding group said 4 p.m initially but it has changed to 12 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat here, chat, chill, and we're going to ride Gal uh, Guardians, which is right next to us, and then we're going to hit the World Showcase, I think, and just kind of play it by you. We've got no fast passes or anything, and we're just going to have a nice walk around. <laughs> It was epic. And now we're going to the Odyssey Centre to meet Victoria, which I have no idea where that is. So I've never been to it before. I've seen, oh, here it is. So I've seen it before, but I've never actually been in. So yeah. Oh, I've just smacked my camera with a bloody lady.
house again and we've got orange chicken for tea. So we finished up having our lunch in the Chinese pavilion. We're now at Dean's favourite shop and mine to be honest, the Werther's store. And we're gonna get something different this time. We got a cookie last time, it was really, really nice. And then we're just gonna have a walk around the room, uh, room, <laughs> around the world. <laughs> From the Werther's shop and I'm hoping it's not too salty. The first time we got it it was absolutely delicious. The second time I don't know what they'd done but they'd over salted the caramel and it wasn't edible we had to throw it out. Anyway I think Germany might be one of my favourite pavilions particularly at night just with how pretty it is and then probably France. Anyway we're gonna head to Italy now. So we've come to the American pavilion and I really like the Voices of Liberty and we haven't seen them for quite a long time. It's really good at Christmas if you ever get a chance to see them because they sing all Christmas carols Anyway, they're starting in 25 minutes, so we decided to come into this smoke house as part of the American Pavilion. I've never been in here before. Plenty of seats. I don't think it's that busy today in Epcot, is it? Which is nice. And then hopefully we're going to see the Voices of Liberty and they're really, really good. <laughs> Voices of Liberty, I absolutely love them. They gave me goosebumps. There's one singer who can go so high. I'm actually like, how does she make those noises out of her mouth? I will never know. But they're so, so, so good. I absolutely love them. I'm glad we managed uh, to watch them. We have got about half of Epcot still to do, starting from Morocco, but me and Dean are going to come back and really look in depth at them. I think we're actually going to head to Magic Kingdom for tea tonight. Victoria's actually checking in to either All Star or the Polynesian. I can't remember which one she said tonight. Um, so we're going to have a little break and then head to Magic Kingdom for tea. So that should be really, really nice. Just chilling down Main Street, maybe squeezing a few rides. Who knows? Um, so I'm really enjoying our day today. I love it! So time to go to Magic Kingdom or maybe one of the resorts first and then Magic Kingdom. Hello guys, before we get any further into this Florida vlog, I do want to say a huge, huge thank you for long-term partners and supporters of my main channel and now this channel, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys follow me on my business account, you guys might know that I absolutely love Skillshare. It is an amazing online learning community filled to the brim with online classes for you to choose from. I have been trying to improve my travel vlogs, photography and video Geography is kind of like a hobby but Skillshare has so many classes to improve those type of skills whether it's from photography through videography and even lifestyle productivity and business I also love that some of my favorite creators who I actually watch on YouTube have classes on Skillshare people like Ali Abza, Nathaniel Drew like this class as seen by Nathaniel Drew how to speak confidently on camera a guide for content creators Nathaniel Drew is actually an amazing filmmaker and content creator so I can't wait to get his advice on this class. So a huge huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. The first thousand people to click on my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so if you want to go check it out use the link in my description and a huge huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Anyway let's get back into the Disney vlog shall we? Who's here on our park exit? Oh <laughs> catching my flies. Polynesian. I've always wanted to see it here. So it's a Polynesian that Victoria's staying in. So she's gonna let us have a look at her room. Oh wow, it's even got a bloody river. Look at this. Wow. 
Wow, this is super fancy. So this is the lobby upstairs when you come out of the monorail. It smells incredible. <gasps> Why does it smell so good? Oh look, I've got a shop called Moana Mercantile. <gasps> wow, it's so nice here. coffee section corner island coffee bar look at all these what what is chocolate should we try that chocolate covered bacon caramelized protein. yeah it's protein isn't it dean <laughs> tori has got the little 50th chocolate covered strawberry look how cute the colors are it's like all the iridescent colors i got an iced pumpkin spice latte and i think we're gonna find somewhere to sit in the lobby before we head to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom's up until 11 p.m. tonight and for Victoria, she gets extra magic hours till 1 a.m. tonight. So we're gonna have tea at Tony's, which I've never done before, so that should be nice for Victoria's birthday. And we're gonna try this chocolate covered bacon. What the heck is that? What is this? Chocolate covered bacon. So we're just gonna sit here. The sun is setting. Look how nice this view is. And the lobby smells so good. Okay. Here we go, chocolate cup of bacon. Sounds so wrong, but I know sweet and salty normally goes really well, so... There's so many things going on in my mouth at the same time. That's so bizarre. It is, it just, it, it tastes like chocolate with bacon. It work, it does work a little bit. It's like salty caramel, you know, sweet and salty together. Mmm. It's kind of Moorish, so I suppose it does work. Okay, so we watched the sunset, we ate our bacon chocolate. And we enjoyed the ambiance here. Oh, we have to check our bags now. Mine will go off yet. There we go. Oh, bag check. And now we're going to get the monorail to Magic Kingdom because we have a dining reservation at Tony. It's been a beautiful time here at the Polynesian. We've really enjoyed it. But now it's time for our dining reservation. into Main Street at night with all the lights, the pumpkins. Ah, we've kind of planned this really well because the fireworks are going to start while we're having our dinner reservation. Yes. It should, a lot of people will empty out after fireworks. Fingers crossed yeah, that's for that. We want to do Haunted Mansion and what did we say again? Pirates. Pirates yeah. yeah, that's what we want to do. just opposite Tony's you can see all the milky bars and Snickers and look at the Skittles packaging that's so cool I've just been looking at all the window displays which make me so happy. I really want like a little photography day where I take my camera and I just take loads of pretty pictures. Like everything looks just beautiful here. It gets me so inspired. But we're heading to Tony's restaurant and it's a good thing because we haven't seen the enchantment fireworks yet. So they'll be going off while we're in Tony's so I won't get any spoiler alerts. Um, and then hopefully once we're finished with our dining reservation uh, we can explore the parks. I really wish I was staying on Disney so I could get um, extra magic hours till 1am because that's so fun. Ooh, I've never been in here, I don't think. This is where you meet Mickey. Oh, look at this! So we're just in Tony's and our dinner's come out. We got the steak to share. It's come with a little lemon and herb crusted potatoes. And Victoria got a cup of tea. <laughs> and uh, what was it again? Chicken um, fettuccine alfredo. Oh, and it looks delicious. So we're going to chuck in. Oh, look at the castle. I haven't seen it all lit up like this before. Anyway, the food was really, really nice at Tony's. We enjoyed that steak. 
and now we're going to try and ride some rides. Victoria's super lucky because she's staying in a deluxe resort. She gets to see it till 1am and ride all the rides. I bet you can just walk on. Pretty much by the time you get to that point, yeah. Is everything still up then? Every single ride? Yeah, most of them. I think people move the closes and one or two others, but move. most of them are open. Most so. of them are yeah. open. Nice. Splash Mountain won't be open. It Bloody probably freezing. will. Do you think? I reckon it would be. No, yeah. I bet to walk on it. There's minute. no way I'm doing it in this. No. I'll be freezing. Oh yeah, I'll be absolutely freezing. I'll, as much as I love Splash Mountain, not going to happen. I can't believe how beautiful this castle looks. Oh, it's amazing. This isn't going to do it justice, but wow. Feels like my eyeballs have been upgraded to 4K. That's what it is. What? That's exactly what it feels like. When I look at the castle, I'm like, oh my god, my retinas <laughs> can't take in this beauty. That's absolutely stunning. I mean, the heck? I want to live there. Holy moly. taking videos and just enjoying the atmosphere and we've come into some of the shops and I found these Mickey Benier ears and they're about by lounge five $39.99 look they've even got a buckle but the weirdest thing is they actually smell they smell like well beignets I suppose I've never tried a beignet but like smell a bit like cinnamon and donuts don't they like sugar mm. how cool is that I want to try it on because I feel like this is like cream coloured so it would go with a lot of outfits. I feel like, what do you think, Dean? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's that cold, your yeah. nose has gone red. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> really cold it's today. Really nice. Hopefully it's going to warm up after tomorrow. These are actually really cute, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'm not paying $40, I'm on a budget. Had my eye on the Starbucks mug. I can put my iced coffees in in the summer and my warm coffee in the winter because I always make it before I go to work. And it's uh, ceramic and it's pink and I really like it. The only thing is, I'm not sure about this Mickey here, it's like a vintage one, but I don't know, it's got the grim grinning ghosts and everything, Dumbo. Should I think on it and then maybe get it at the end if I love it still? But this is my favourite one, they've been doing them at every single park, but because this is pink, this is my favourite and obviously Magic Kingdom is my favourite park. <laughs> I've just found the cutest turning red top but they only do it for kids but I would wear this look how cute this is it's actually got a fuzzy like embroidered patch and look how pretty it is imagine that with jeans and some like trainers but it's one that they only have kids sizes in so we are just leaving the beautiful main street not for the last time tomorrow will only be a week into the holiday I don't know what it is but this time around it feels like we've been here for ages doesn't it so it's been really really beautiful everyone's taking photos it's currently about midnight we listen to this music <laughs> finished it off of me uh, we listen to this music at um, work every day I'm surprised you're not sick of it Dean to be honest anyway we're gonna head out now we're probably gonna walk over to um, the contemporary or should we just get a boat to the Polynesian and we'll get an Uber from the Polynesian probably rather than going to the ticket and transportation centre we'll just get an Uber out the front first time we haven't used shuttle buses uh, but it has been a spectacular day today honestly what a, the best way to end um, a night like a birthday night as well so I hope Victoria had a good time look at this see you real soon I'm gonna head off now I'm gonna end the vlog here hey I'll see you next time Thanks so much for watching. Oh, for you. Goodbye.